depending on how deep you find yourself into fitness, social media, you've likely seen posts about how to train a muscle optimally or biomechanically correct to bias a specific muscle. The information within these posts are commonly repurposed information that the creator had seen somewhere else and they're just using it for their own content. And the online space regarding optimal has really became a war zone recently and I blame it on these people who are just copying what they've seen someone else do online. In the case of this video and the pull arounds, which is the topic of this video, this is an exercise that I got from N1 Education and here's why you might want to incorporate it into your training. When it comes to your typical lat bias movements, you've likely seen the single arm kneeling pull down and the single arm kneeling row on TikTok from JPG Coaching. These exercises are okay, but there are likely better options for you. And he also gets a lot of his material from animal education, but doesn't give them any credit. Uh, anyways, the big thing here is that for when you're doing these lat focus movements, the big cues are one, that you're going to have a neutral grip. And this is why the D handles have become so prevalent as of recently. Two, you want your arm to be stretched out in front of you and which is why most of these variations are single arm or they're using the D handles on the wide grip pull down bar. And then three, the arm path you take is going to stay relatively tight to your torso. Whether you are doing a row or a pull down with the intention of targeting your lats, these are all great cues to use, but what I may be introducing to you, and again, this is from N1 and I'm just trying to spread the good word, is changing the cue of having your arm straight out in front of you. Instead, what you can do is turn into that working arm that's pulling so that instead of your arm being straight out in front of you, that arm is coming across your body. And you can do this for both row and pull down variations and single arm is pretty much required here. The benefit from these pull arounds is the ability for you to stretch or lengthen your lats more than you would be able to do in a typical lat focused exercise. The biggest thing here is that although your arm is coming across your body, you don't want any excessive rolling in your shoulder blade. We also don't want to try and restrict its movement either. You are not going to be able to reach a fully shortened lat so don't try and like crank all the way around and try to just achieve a squeeze that you might be getting in other exercises. The money here is in the stretch, so make that the point of emphasis when you're doing these, whether that's with slow eccentrics or you can even throw pauses as you're holding that stretch position. Training a muscle in its lengthened position is a potent stimulator for muscle growth, and doing these pull arounds allows you to achieve a longer muscle length compared to those traditional lat focused exercises. So now that you are equipped with this variation, you can implement it into your training but it doesn't have to be like an all or nothing here as optimal is specific to your individual situation. These pull arounds are included in my newest workout program that you can download for free on my website. Every program I have made so far has a video on this channel where I walk you through the goals of the program. And in the case of the newest program, it's growing a bigger back. Why the exercises I chose will help you reach that goal, the sets and reps you do along with any other information to help you maximize the results you're gonna see. Each week, I send out a weekly newsletter for real-time updates to help guide you through the program as you follow along with it, and you can subscribe to my weekly newsletter on my website at evolutionaryaesthetics.com. Help me out and like this video, subscribe to this channel for future exercises, and leave a comment if this is something that you've tried before or you're going to try on your next back day. Thanks for the support, and we'll see each other in the next video.